What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk, and we're back with another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about NDI, Network Device Interface, and Ecamm. NDI and Ecamm. It's a match made in heaven, y'all. <laughs> Let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent, and I teach small businesses, entrepreneurs, and faith-based entities how to simplify live video mechanics to shine a floodlight on their brand. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about NDI, Network Device Interface. Now, I am not an NDI expert. <laughs> my, my, my knowledge around NDI has been limited. Um, I'm learning, but you guys have been asking so many questions. It's specifically, how are you bringing Zoom into the midweek huddle? Every Wednesday we do the midweek huddle. And you've been asking, how are you bringing Zoom into Ecamm and showing us these people on screen? And then we can also hear them. So I wanted to talk about that. Of course, you know, I'm using Loopback to pull the audio from Zoom into Ecamm. Uh, but I wanted to talk about how I'm getting the video, and that is by using NDI. So I'm gonna dive on my desktop, show you a couple of websites, and we're gonna walk through this process. So here I am on the desktop, uh, NDI.tv. This is uh, the website that really kind of explains everything. <clears throat> Free NDI applications to start your NDI, to start using NDI in your production workflows. This this is a really great website, probably even you know, recommended to just spend some time reading first before diving in. If you've never worked with NDI before, and I want to say a quick shout out here to Doc Rock for putting me on to these tools and these platforms. Both of the platforms I'm going to show you today, Doc was instrumental in uh, putting me on to both of those. So he shared with me, I'm sharing with you. Uh, so yeah, NDI tools, more devices. Come. Listen, you've got all of these different things here. The one that you want to focus on is the scan converter. Um, so NDI tools are here and you can click on this download button and you would download the one for your scenario, for your situation. And so um, I would, of course, download the one for Mac, which I've done already. So I'm not going to download it now, but I wanted you to see this. And these links will be in the description. So no worries there. Uh, but scan converter is the application that you're going to want. All the applications will install. All the tools will install, but you want Scan Converter. Before I go and show you what um, new text NDI Scan Converter looks like, I want to show you a couple of the things first. first. Sienna is an, an, an alternative NDI application that you can use. Um, it, you, I'll, I'll make sure I have this in the description as well. But Sienna is a paid version, right? So Sienna's version. Uh, I, I believe it costs f almost 30 bucks or 40 bucks. So this is what it looks like when you download it. You have the, it's it's for Mac OS and you can see that that's here. Here is the actual app store, Apple app store um, page for Sienna uh, scan converter, NDI network device interface, right? So this, this is $30 and 99 cents. So it's $31. Um, and so it is the alternative to Nutex uh, Scan Converter, Nutex NDI tool, which is what I was showing you first. So this is Nutex and this is scan, uh, Sienna. So Sienna Scan Converter. So these are the two. And um, the reason why I'm showing you both is because I, while if I was using the Nutex Scan Converter, it I've noticed that it would crash. Now, it wouldn't crash consistently for me. I know others have complained of that, but I wanted to share that with you. Uh, it would crash only if I was currently viewing an application and I closed it. So if I had Nutex NDI scan converter uh, focused on an application and, and that application was then pulled into Ecamm or something else as a camera, if I closed that application before closing the scan converter, it would crash and to me that just kind of seemed normal uh, but i also wanted to play around with some of the other applications as well so i did purchase sienna and it is it is solid it is solid and it's a one-time purchase so you can kind of you know toss up what you want to do there um the app that i'm using on my ipad to turn my ipad into a camera as well an ndi camera is ndi hx camera and that is actually a 20 dollar purchase so you know do your homework first, <laughs> definitely play with whatever's free. 
uh, see how you can work it into your workflow and then begin uh, considering making a purchase if that's something that you feel like you need to do. So we're back on my desktop here and I wanted to show you that the two applications that I've installed, NewTek NDI Scan Converter, this is the, the free one, uh, orange and black. So I'm clicking that and you'll see here at the top that I now have a menu, NewTek NDI Scan Converter, here it is. And so this is pretty much it. There is no user interface, so don't look for that. I know that for some people that's kind of like, well, what did I just open? Your menu is there and you do have to click on that that icon in the system tray or in the dock uh, to be able to bring this this menu back up so you can switch between applications if you want to you know move from google chrome to zoom or you want to show loop back or something else that you had wanted to display as a camera in your scene this is what you would have to do um, you have to come in here click on file and go to the one that you want and so uh, when i was using it i would click on zoom here i would select the largest one which i was in my mind that meant it was the whole screen the whole zoom screen and then i would put that in my scene in ecamm so that's the new tech in the ndi scan converter um also here is the sienna scan converter and it does have a user interface um and it has the uh, the ability to, for you to be able to change its size, you can do a scaled look, which is what I have now. Um, and that allows you, the scaled look allows you to be able to size this, the screen, whatever, whatever screen you're using as a camera, you can size it to whatever scene you are in, in Ecamm. So I use scaled, um, there's your ref, your frame, frame rate. You can display entire monitor, which is what I've been doing. And so you have screen two here. I have two screens. So if you have three or four, all of those would come up. Or you could do an application. This is similar to what we saw with the new tech platform. You can select your applications from here. Um, additionally, the Sienna scan converter does have the ability to pull audio as well. And this is the one, just to be clear, that you will purchase for $30.99 from the Apple App Store. So Again, my recommendation, try out the new tech one, get your feet wet. And if it, if it if you feel like NDI is something that's going to be worthwhile adventure for you, then make the investment. Um, I want to say here that unfortunately, I don't have my iPad cable, so I'm not able to show you what the new tech app looks like on the iOS device, which is 1999. But I wanted to make sure to tell you that it is self-explanatory. It gives you a clean feed, essentially, and it allows you to use your device as an additional camera. So what I want to do right now, actually, is this is a little Easter egg, right? A little surprise for those who are watching this video. I'm going to show you I'm going to, how to build out a scene, but I'm not just going to show you how to build it out with NDI. I'm going to show you from Canva. So this is the design for the scene, and you've seen this in previous uh, videos. I'm just going to download this download this file this is the file here number page number one downloading it from canva and five four three two one it's downloaded um now i'm going to actually open it which the default program that it's going to open with is preview and i'm going to drag that over to our screen so we can see that and in preview what i want to do is go to the view tab and click on show markup toolbar. You can also hit sh command shift A to show markup toolbar. And that's gonna give you this toolbar here on the right above the top of the screen. The icon that you want or the tool you wanna use is instant alpha. So I'm clicking instant alpha right now. And I'm just gonna drag just a little bit. And, and when you see these lines here on the edge, you'll, you'll know that you have the space that you want. What I do in my design is anywhere that I want to have a cutout for a, to place a camera, I make that green and then I use preview to grab that piece out of the design. So that's what I've done here with the instant alpha tool on the show markup toolbar in preview. It just highlighted this area. Once I see this line going here, the next thing I need to do is hit delete. Once I hit delete, that area is now ready for for use in Ecamm. Uh, I can put a camera right here, and I'm gonna do that in just a second, but we need to cut out this other area real quick. And again, I just want you to see, I'm not highlighting here in the corner and kind of going all the way around. You just want to tell the system, I want to grab the green. And, and the way you do that is just by clicking and dragging a little bit. 
And when I do that, it automatically grabs the entire green. You see that it's grabbed the edge all the way around. You see that little, almost like a centipede going around there. And then I hit the, the backspace button, it cuts it out. Um, then I come back up here, hit save. Again, you can use you know keyboard shortcuts and they're quick. They, they make it very simple. I build out you know 20 scenes and grab these green parts out in no time at all, right? Command shift A to bring up the markup toolbar, command S to save the, the document and it's ready to go. So that's ready to go. Now let's head over to demo mode in Ecamm. So here we are in demo mode. We've got a new scene built out and I'm just gonna drag the file. This is the file here uh, that we just created. I'm just gonna drag this file onto the screen and there it is. Let us add a camera. So we wanna add a camera here this is my camera, so now you're no longer in the dark, you can see me. I wanna hit this pencil, make this custom. This is this should be a refresher for anybody who has been following you. You know how to build these scenes out. And then just drag that camera underneath and it drops behind there nice and neat. Uh, we wanna grab another camera and this is where we're getting back to the, our topic of our video, which is NDI. So we'll grab this camera, we're gonna make this custom as well. Um, pull this in. I know I know. you're probably thinking to yourself, you know, we haven't gotten to NDI yet, Kirk. This is not NDI. You're still playing with your own camera. I, I know that. Um, so pull this down a little bit, get it into place. It's not quite in place where I want it. There we go. And now that it's in place, also drag it down. So now, you know, I always lock these things. It's, it's just, it's a habit of mine to lock them. Then we hit this pencil. You, you can already see here on the bottom of the screen, I have all these cameras available. And so all I'm gonna do, these, these same cameras that are available here are available with this pencil. So I hit this pencil, select cameras, and the first one I'm gonna do is go to my iPad. And so now you're seeing my iPad. And just to prove that this is not, you know, a cord, I'm gonna show you that in the in the main window. This is my iPad, it's totally disconnected. So we're on network and you can see me on the iPad. Hopefully you can still hear me. And yeah, there's my messy desk. There's my two camera shoot. Um, yeah, there's my stuff I, that I need to clean up. Sorry, Kanik. So this is the NDI app that I talked about earlier. Uh, that we showed you in the app store that you can purchase for $20. So it is here, it's running on my, my iPad and it allows me to use my iPad as another monitor, as another camera, I should say. Uh, and if you have a better camera on your device, you could probably use it in, in a production. Um, this is the NDI scan converter and this is actually showing my screen. This is, this is the uh, Sienna scan converter that is showing my screen right now. Uh, this is Ecamm Live. I know I'm, I'm, I want you to see this. I know I'm in demo mode still, uh, but I want you to see this. This is actually Ecamm Live from my other computer. This is the reason why I'm in demo mode showing you this because I wanted you to see this is Ecamm Live from a different computer. And how do I do that from my other computer? Well, I, what I did was I went to output, I went to NDI output, and I just selected one of these options. Now I'm I'm pushing over there at 720p because I just felt like that's what it could handle. Uh, didn't want to push at 1080p, but you could try that. Maybe you have a better network at your house. Uh, but NDI, I, I'm actually pulling content from one Ecamm computer to another with NDI. That is powerful. I'm just pausing here for effect because I want to make sure that everybody's catching, you know, some of the ramifications. What doors does this open for you? NDI from one Ecamm instance to this in Ecamm instance, all with, with uh, pulling the camera from one to the other. So if you have full scenes built out from one, you can actually drop them in another just by using NDI. So I'm going to, I've only got one more camera to show. And this is, this is um, the actual new tech scan converter, new tech NDI, which I have installed on my other machine here as well. I'm gonna select that from that machine. I've actually gotta grab this other mouse to be able to scroll up and down on that on that, that machine. And so on with new tech, I've, all I've done is selected my, my web browser on this machine. And so that becomes another camera that's available to me in Ecamm on this system. All of these are available to me in Ecamm on this system which is really cool. So there you have it. 
um, all of the different things that you can do with NDI in, in this video. Now, I, I know that some of you are going to do some searching, which I hope you do, and you're going to find some ridiculously amazing things that, that you can do with NDI and this tool and this platform and this protocol. Um, and I hope that you'll come back to this video and you'll leave the comment for me so that I can engage with you and we can learn together. But this is this is definitely uh, a learning experience for all of us. This is how I have been bringing Zoom and several other applications into my videos, into my live streams, and it has really been a game changer for me. So uh, hopefully this video was useful for you. Hopefully it you know that light bulb went on and you were able to say, "Yo, <laughs> this is this is gonna work for me." Um, but whatever your experience was, I'd love for you to engage with us and leave some comments. Uh, below. We will have all of the links in the description. We'll have uh, different tools that you can look into as well in the description as well. So please check there. Um, but yeah, we're, we're excited about this this new journey, uh, excited about these new platforms, these new skills that we're, we're putting together. And I'm hoping that you're tracking with us, hoping that we're growing together and hoping that we are providing you with value here on this channel. And if we are, we'd ask that you would take a moment and subscribe that you would hit that like button, and that you would share the video. I, I know that you know other people who are doing live streaming, uh, that you know other people who, like you are trying to get their message out there and to build a community around their idea. And that's what we wanna do on this channel is to get those hurdles and those obstacles out of the way so that you can create your community. It's your boy Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, somewhere as we made our way through NDI and the, this new protocol that we're using, uh, that you were able to figure out how it all works. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in another video.